In the second part of this series, we're going to learn how to create options for changing the cabinet's appearance, specifically the color used and the element's configuration. From the Scene State menu, select Capture. Scene States allows us to store objects' attributes, which enables us to store different attributes for the same model in separate Scene States. Let's begin by creating color options, so make sure you disable all the attributes in the Scene State dialog except for the Material option. Then select the cabinet's assembly and click on Capture from Selection. Now if you were to switch to the Scene State tab, you will find a thumbnail for the Scene State we created. Pick the drawer from the cabinet model and change its color to green. Pick the plastic basket next and change its color as well. Now select the cabinet model again and click on Capture Selection. Change the cabinet's color one more time and capture it as a scene state to create three color options for the model. Let's rename the scene states. Select the first scene state and from the panel to the right, rename it to Orange. Select the second scene state and rename it to Green. Rename the third scene state to Purple. To apply scene states in Composer, simply drag them and drop them onto the scene. Now that we have finished creating the color options, let's move to design configuration. Create a new scene state tab, then double click it to rename it. Select the cabinet model and from the scene state menu, select capture. Disable the material attribute and enable the transformation attribute, then click on capture from selection. Let's now rearrange the elements in the cabinet. First, we're going to switch the top drawer with the bottom cabinet door. Make sure you select the highest level of the door assembly, then press 2 on the keyboard to reveal the transformation arrows, and drag the door upwards. Now select the drawer's top assemblies and move them to the bottom of the cabinet, then put the door assembly in their place at the top. Go up in levels to reach the cabinet's highest level and click on Capture from Selection. For the last configuration, we're going to swap the plastic basket with the mesh basket. Select the highest level in the plastic basket and move it downwards, then move the other basket to the top. With the cabinet selected, click on Capture from Selection. Rename the created scene states to Config1, Config2, and Config3. The next step is to create a rendered image for each of the configuration, which we will use later as triggers to apply the configurations. Set up the view to a frontal angle, then from the rendering menu, select Output Settings. Set the resolution for the image and enable the Showing Rendering Area option to better frame the cabinet in the view. From the Render menu, select Fixed Rendering. Once you're satisfied with the result, click on the Save Image button, then tap in the name for the image and click Save. 
Stop the rendering and apply the second configuration scene state, then start the fixed rendering again. Save the second image. Render the last configuration, then save it as an image as well. Reveal the plate stand assembly in the scene by selecting from the object tree to the left and pressing S on the keyboard. This is the stand where we will attach the created scene states to objects as actions. Select the first plate. From the Material Attributes tab, change the color to orange. Now switch to the Object tab and set the action type to scene state. Click on the orange scene state in the bottom panel to attach it. Now select the second plate and change its color to green. From the object tab, set the action type to scene state and click on the green scene state to attach it. Follow the same steps to change the third plate's color and attach the purple scene state to it. Now that we're done with the colors, we can move to attaching the configuration scene state. Select the plate and make sure that it has a white color, then click on the texture channel and select the config1 image that we rendered earlier. Switch the scene state tab to the configuration group to display the needed scene states. Then in the objects tab, set the action type to scene state and click on the config1 scene state to attach it. Select the second plate, and same as before, change its color to white, click on the texture channel, and choose the config2 image and click open. Go to the object tab and set its action type to scene state, and click on the config2 scene state to attach it. Follow the same steps to add the image to the third plate and attach it to the remaining scene state. Setting up the configuration option is now complete and we can run the scene in VR. From the VR viewer menu, select Set Starting Position. Place the starting position model in the scene as you see fit. From the VR Viewer menu, select Show in Viewer, then select Desktop Mode. In the VR Viewer, hold the left click and aim at a plate, then release to activate the related scene state. In the next part, we're going to talk about animating components and how to enable them to be interactive in VR.